Remember, the Korean newspaper is not to get the fire started, it's for flavor. My uh, Canadian roommate, Matt, right here, being a boss. Don't make me blush, Joe. If you guys don't know who he is, go follow him, Old Style Barbecue, or what's your Instagram? It's o, is it? OS Barbecue. OS Barbecue. Barbecue with a Q. I'm going to laugh from cooking just for talking and watching this guy cook, and you'll see a little bit more of it uh, in future videos in the Chud Shop. Definitely looking forward to that. Yeah, same. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick update on how things have been going. So uh, today is Thursday, and uh, I'm getting ready to go into work right now. But <clears throat> I just wanted to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, the last couple days, I will say, have been really, really exhausting for me. In terms of like kind of like what you saw um, at the end of the prep shift, uh, especially when I was trying to tie those uh, chuck steaks together, I think just mentally I was just 
exhausted, it's kind of sluggish. I was really just trying to get through the shift at the very end. And, and then I realized it's like, I've been pretty nonstop since like we got the okay to open the restaurant. Uh, it's been kind of just go, 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 go. And the days that I did have off, you know, I spent them, you know, editing videos that you guys are, you guys have watched for the last two weeks. And so the one thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that, you know, working hard and putting your best foot forward and all these things are great, but this is just for myself. You know, other people might have more of a bandwidth to, you know, think about work all the time, but I, I can't. It, it drives me nuts. Um, on Wednesday was kind of like my first real day off and I just needed that day for myself to get a haircut. And the last couple of days, I've been trying to be a little bit more proactive and just kind of like my, my daily habits, like definitely going to the gym, trying to get a little more sleep, trying to, drink less, hang out in the chat shop with uh, with everybody else. But yeah, it's all these like small things that I feel like in the last couple days are allowing me to feel so much better today. Uh, and I, I'm like actually excited to go into work today. And um, you know, I just wanna say for those of you guys who feel like you're overwhelmed, you're stretching yourself too thin, learn to set aside times for different things. Like if you know like your work is gonna take X amount of hours during the day, only thing about work during those hours and go balls to the wall, but when you clock out, stay clocked out and just focus either on yourself or on your loved ones. And I'm only here temporarily. You know, for those of you guys who are doing this for a living, make a schedule that works for you. The other thing is like having a good team around you is super important. And I think that you guys see that throughout, like even though technically I'm here to help like uh, new employees of Leroy and Lewis, like, I'm definitely getting help by so many people around me. Being able to ask for help, I think is something as I get older, uh, is a skill that I'm learning how to do more and more, uh, just because that's the only way that you can continue to grow. And when you get in the habit of asking for help, but you also have a good work ethic, I think those two combinations make you a really strong and reliable person in any workplace. So yeah, uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and a PSA, I guess you could say, on uh, state of affairs for me. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get back to the restaurant. All right, so how are these uh, flat irons feeling? We kind of changed a couple things. They're really good. They're really nice. I, uh, you know, I was telling Matt yesterday that we have neglected to treat them as much like briskets as they are. Improving the trim and then just kind of like every way of the process treating them like briskets. Yeah. That's uh, that's really like getting them where we want them. I mean that that is right now like pretty much our brisket and it's really good. It is Honestly. really good. It's really good. Yeah. Like pulling by feel has made a huge difference too. Yeah. I know chopped beef isn't a super exciting menu item, but we make these specifically for the chop. So definitely come get it. We give all our secrets away, Joe. No secrets. <laughs> Oh, finally, someone who's horrible and correct with the one. Six shifts to finally get it right. Awesome, that looks great. I mean, they're gonna come off right now. So today is Friday, the day that we're gonna be cooking briskets for uh, the Saturday special. We also got some bacon ribs going on, uh, but a couple of things that we're trying to do today. The briskets didn't come out exactly the way we wanted to during the first weekend, but I mean, it's kind of to be expected with a new pit. And so today we kind of have all hands on deck. We got Cole, we got Evan, we got me, we got Matt, and we're all kind of brainstorming and trying different things to make sure these briskets come out the way that we want. Uh, whether or not it's gonna be perfect, that we don't know. And the other thing that we're gonna be doing is we got Brandon and Daniel working with us in the afternoon. And so Matt and I will basically be there to support but they're gonna be the ones who are gonna be manning the fires today just because they've had a couple shifts and uh, you know right now it's kind of their turn to take over because at the end of the day Matt and I won't be here uh, in a couple weeks and so we want to make sure that these guys are ready to go and take over yeah they all look great yeah they look this great. one's lagging a little bit this little one is ready to wrap Daniel you're up Top of that log over and then scoop those poles right out. 
all those like bigger chunks of that aren't necessarily holes. Move it a little bit closer so it will not break down soon. Use the wall in your favor. And then you can scrape them out. Uh, you want the poles to try and get rid of it. Keep the top of the shovel and just scrape the surface of it. All the ash will stay at the bottom and just like... As we did here, so this is row one, row two, row three, row four. You were it's in. See, like right here. See all the smoke that's coming out? We just choked off that air. So D2, 165. 3, 157. You notice how when you're going from the top, it's about 8 degrees less going to the side. So that's really where we want to test it. At the end of the day, once we get consistent, it's really nitpicky because everything should be at a certain level. Freaking honkers. Who cares? Oh my god. It's what they call them dinosaur ribs. Maybe a cooked one tomorrow. I this is the dinosaur reed. The reed come off of the dinosaur. The hardest part is to find the dinosaur. <laughs> you have to go to a special place to find the dinosaur. Alright guys, so we're here for uh, Saturday lunch at Leroy and Lewis and uh, we're just going to go inside and check out what it looks like. Listen, don't open a restaurant, okay? <laughs> oh, this seems so cool and it's barbecue and like everyone loves it. Look at me. I'm sweeping up dirt in a parking lot, okay? That's what this life is. Taking out trash. Getting grease all over your nice clothes every day, okay? That's the life that we live. This isn't... This isn't glamour, this isn't excitement, this is like chores at home, but every day for hundreds of people. Don't Funny thing is, you're the first, one of the few people that I met early on that made me want to stay in Austin. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> you told me. It's too tasty. It went down way too quick. <laughs> So that's the end of this week, uh, week two of the restaurant opening. Uh, next week is going to be a little bit interesting because I believe we are in the very beginning of South By. So uh, things might get hectic. Not really sure what next video is going to look like quite yet. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, share this video with friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one.